So we used a 19 millimeter socket. We removed the plugs and then if we come under here and you can see right here, that whole boot has torn out. So we're gonna replace that. Next, we're gonna remove this nut and we're gonna use a 32 millimeter socket. And then next, we wanna see if this axle pushes in. If it doesn't, you can take a rubber mallet, give it a little hit, I can see it wiggling. Or you can take a punch and hit it with the hammer. Next, we'll take an 18 millimeter socket. Once we have that loosened up to the top, we're just gonna thread it on just a tiny bit. Next, we'll hit right here on the knuckle. We're gonna be careful for the threads of our tie rod. And I'm gonna start with a rubber mallet, pound it pretty hard, move up to a hammer, and then a small sledge. Hopefully one of those gets it out. And then with that. And then what we can do is we're gonna take that nut off next. Next, we're gonna go on the back side of the strut here where the ABS wires are here. We're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and we're gonna remove this bracket. Next, we're gonna remove these two nuts right here. We're gonna use a 21 millimeter socket and a 21 millimeter on the back. You probably don't have to hold the back because it's splined. Once we get that one loosened up, we'll go to the other one. And these kind of take a deep well, so you're probably going to get it started and if you don't have one. And then you want to leave those on a little ways and so you can pound them out. If you're uncomfortable, you can also use a rubber mallet. There we go. So those are both loosened up we'll take these nuts the rest of the way off and they do have a little curved tip at the end so you can hit them but just in case you miss you do want to keep those nuts rubber mallet works nice and then once you take those out that's going to drop and that's why we wanted that slack in that ABS. And now I've turned here and I'm just going to push that CV axle and wiggle it out. There we go. And we got that in free. And then next we're going to try to squeeze right in here and we're going to pound this with the hammer. And you can see that starting to separate now. Get to the end, you're gonna just pull that out, hold it with two hands so it doesn't drop down on you. This is what we got. And so as it's spinning, it was popping. We're gonna set them somewhere clean, line them up, make sure that they're the same and that they're matching. And these are matching. And then I did get this one at O'Reilly's. It had a lifetime warranty. I only got it two years ago. And you can see what Road Grimes done to it. And it's already cracked. So that lifetime warranty, if I would've got it on, on Amazon, I would've probably paid half price and I would have had to replace it with the new one and if it only lasts two years, I can just keep buying these and replacing this if they are only gonna last two years. They should last longer than that, but that's where that lifetime warranty through the auto stores does come in handy. 
And you can see the splines on there, so we're just gonna put that new CV axle up there. I sprayed it with some penetrating oil just to kind of loosen up some of that rust that was on there. So next what you're gonna do is you're gonna just put that top over, and you're gonna spin this piece until you feel those splines line up. And then once you have those lined up, it's gonna, it sl slides on pretty easy as long as it's not too rusted out. And you can tell when it gets all the way to the end. I might just give this a little whack just to make sure it's all the way through. And then we'll just take our mallet. We want to make sure that this is straight. Give it a couple whacks. And now I'm double checking and it looks like it's seated all the way on there tight. So next what we did is we removed that nut. We get that CV axle wiggled into place. Slide this up. And we're going to end up lifting this up. And we want to have our bolts ready. And once we get one bolt in, we can kind of loosen it up and work a little bit more freely. There we go. And we want to make sure that this CV axle, typically it's just going to slide through. I'm going to make sure that those lines lined up and that's coming through, which it is. Next, I'm just going to put this on just to and then next we're gonna put those nuts on the back side. We just wanna get them started. Once we get them started again, that's the 21 millimeter. And now we're gonna be going in the opposite direction. And we are gonna to have to And then we're going to torque those to 65 foot-pounds, so you're going to use your torque wrench. And then you're going to torque those to 65 foot-pounds, which is, there we go, manufacturer specification. And you're going to do that for both of them. Next, you'll connect that little ABS bracket with the 10 millimeter again. And then we have this started. We're going to tighten that axle nut up. And then we're going to torque it to 118 foot-pounds, which is manufacturer specification. There we go. Grab this. Slide it into position. Spin that down. Now if you notice when you're tightening the stud down, uh, that this stud is actually spinning while you're putting it on, it's not tightening. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use an 1130 seconds. You're gonna put that on top and then you're just gonna use the open end wrench and then you're just gonna tighten that up. And now this is gonna tighten to 55 foot-pounds. So I'm feeling it tighten right here and then I'm gonna get my torque wrench out and I'm gonna tighten that the rest of the way. Next we're gonna put our torque wrench on and then we're gonna torque this to 55 foot-pounds. And there we go. So when you're putting your tie rod on, sometimes that doesn't want to tighten down onto that stud. That stud wants to spin. So what you can do is make sure you get that all the way up, and then you can use your 18 millimeter uh, open and wrench tighten that down and if it's spinning you're just going to take an 11 30 seconds i used uh, a little socket here and then i put my wrench i used an open end wrench and then i tighten that down uh, doing that and then once i got fairly tight and i was getting snug i used my torque wrench and then just to make sure when my torque wrench was kind of spinning i just tightened up a little bit here i went and used a ratchet strap and then that tight and that down enough so I was able to tighten that up to the 55 foot pounds needed. So if you're having an issue with this stud spinning again this is an 11 30 seconds in your 18 millimeter and you can tighten that uh, using the two and then when you get down if it's still spinning just put a little bit of pressure on that and then you can tighten that up to 55 foot. Torque your 
lugs to 100 foot pounds. And then when we're done with this, we'll just lower the car down and we'll give her a test drive and we'll see how she works. And then once you get the car lowered, you're just gonna double check, look under the wheels, look under the car, make sure there's nothing down there. Pull out anything from the tires. We're gonna go in and start with at least the emergency brake. So I'm taking a right turn into the driveway here. I've taken a dozen right turns. I've got no clicking at all. So that is working. That CV axle is the fix. I still have to do the driver's side and I'll be doing that next. Check that video out as well. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Arrgh. <laughs>